fam and welcome back to another video and as you can see on your screen it's gonna be a good one we did this for wrestlemania well i did not nathan but i'm yeah. joined by nathan and we're gonna be doing summer slam 2020 linking the matches that happened tonight summer slam just happened we're recording this literally just like an hour after summer slam and we have five different categories tonight we have fantastic dash match of the night awesome man needed more time and just out of the garden so nathan are you ready to get into this we're oh heck yeah i'm ready matches. all right nathan what do you think apollo and mvp deserves Def okay, I'm not even gonna lie. This match was pretty good considering that they moved it down to the kickoff. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give it under needed more time. I agree. It was like six minutes and fifty seconds according to Wikipedia, so it was really short. Yeah. And I definitely agree with you on that, Nathan. It definitely, yeah. was, it definitely needed more time. All right, Bailey and Oscar. All right. If I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this was. I, I would put it under awesome, but like I don't, I don't know. Like. All right. Well. Hmm. How about we'll give it a meh? How about that? We'll give it a meh. Yeah, cause it, it was it was a decent was, match to start the show. All right, the tag titles. Oh. Okay, this was also meh. Yeah. Just the ending was kind of like it was kind of awkward, and also Aiden, we just before you know we continue the predictions, bro. Oh, oh my God. God! It was what three to five or something? It was. Yeah, it was three to five. We got three right and five wrong. Yeah, and that was bad because we literally were saying, oh, it's going to be so stupid if this happens. Yeah. Yeah, we're just not going to talk about the predictions. And let's hope for yeah. payback. It's 6-0, and oh, whatever the hell, how many matches there are. But I agree. That match was meant. I mean, it wasn't bad until the end. Like, the end just completely yeah. ruined it for me. Like, that finish was weird. Like, don't get me wrong. That frog splash from Montez was fire. Like, he did a flip into it. Yeah. But, like, what was the point? Like, you're getting taken out by like selena vega and you're like you're supposed to be woozy but you fucking reverse it get up and then yeah fox splash one two three it's like what the hell yeah it was so weird it was weird all right this man okay i don't um, know out of the it was okay it wasn't I'm, really interesting to me i mean there was nothing and we saw that botch that mandy rose did like she couldn't even pick up the table like twice it was a really botchy match but I'm gonna put it. And I didn't really, I wasn't really excited, so I wouldn't want to. I don't want to put it under any more time because it was like a long enough match. But like, I don't want to put it under just utter garbage. That's like it's kind of like disrespectful because it really wasn't like that bad of a match. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know what to put it under, honestly. I guess it's gonna go under another meh because we can't really put it under anything else really because. It was between, like, I mean, if it wasn't for the botches, like, I feel like the match needed more fast pace. Like, I feel yeah, like it was really, it was really slow. slow. And, like, yeah. the knees, like, it's just, like, like, it was just too predictable. And I feel like they needed it to be longer. Like, I feel like it, I mean, I don't know. Like, it just didn't feel like what it was supposed to be, you know? like it Yeah, felt like, like Blues WWE and, like, Sonya lost so quick, like. Not quick, but like she lost like in a stupid. What was like, that ending? Like she just walked off. Like nothing happened. Like no pilot. Exactly. Like, she just no, walked off. No pilot for Sonya. No like bowing down. Nothing. Just all just left. Like I feel like. And we already know that she's gonna be back. Yeah. Like it's obvious. Uh. You already know. Match of the night. Yeah. Match of the night. Fantastic, bro. What a match. I don't know. <sighs> On like, that match, I don't even care about the prediction. Like that was so. That was a fire match. I'd Concerning was Dominic's yeah. first match in WWE. I'll like, give it to Dominic. That was that was a really good match, but just in my opinion, Seth shouldn't have won. Like that just yeah. ruins the whole storyline. Like there's no redemption at all for the Mysterios. Like legit, they just lost twice. Like they lost, and now Dominic lost. Like what the hell well, is mean, they supposed to do? Well, I mean, the, the heels sometimes have to win it, and that's just how it is. I mean, but still, like besides that, it was a great match. Loved it. Loved yeah. every bit of it. Just that ending wasn't the best option. But yeah, so... Alright. <sighs> oh god, I don't know. This was... I would put it under meh. here, but I, I don't... So many meh. Alright, okay. This was awesome. It just, awesome. It just, yeah, the finish. That's all I just, gotta the say. The finish was like... The finish, like... It's not that like... The match was okay. Like The time was fantastic. Like It wasn't dragged or anything. It's just... The finish. Like, you have like... A down to Drew McIntyre that just missed a claymore, fell back first, he's all woozy. Just for him to reverse, not a single other KO, not a single claymore, none of that. Just 
signatures pretty much a future shock in the in the vintage oil and just for him to roll him up for like a one two three like i didn't feel like that was stupid yeah and that just made oil in his whole like heel run look stupid because he just lost like a big like i mean it's you'll never see it coming but still like come on like that was that was just not the way i would have gone for that like i would have had like, remember we were talking about this, like, he was going to go for the Claymore, reverse, RKO, and then, like, a punk kick. Like, that's what me and Nathan thought yeah. the finish was going to We, we were, we, yeah, we, like, during the match, we were like, oh, yo, like, I totally forgot about, like, the punt. Like, he's going to punt him. Like, definitely, that's going to be the finish. Or it was either that or, like, Randy goes for the punt and he gets caught with the Claymore. It was yes. either that. And they didn't even have those. It was a freaking, like, roll up and one, two, three. Like, what was that? Uh, that was stupid. This one, I... Okay, this was meh. I'm sorry, but it wasn't really, like, great, that great of a match. It was okay. meh. I feel like we shouldn't end it like this. I feel like we should rate the mess like, in order. Like, what do you think was the least meh all the way to, like, the goodest meh? Like, I feel like that's the least the way meh was The least meh was Sonya and Mandy. All right, then what? Let's see. Uh, probably Asuka and Sasha. All right, and... Uh... Then, yeah, keep, yeah, keep it like that. That's what I like right there. That's good. Uh, so nothing got just out of garbage. Like, like we said, like this is no hate to anyone. Like, even if we this is a solid pay per view. I feel like it was solid. I just feel like it wasn't a SummerSlam feel. Like it literally was an episode of Raw plus three minutes. Like it didn't feel like that's the time it should have deserved. There should have been like ten, and, like ten matches. It should have been a full hour yeah. show. Like it just didn't feel like SummerSlam. And, I mean, I actually liked like the ending, like with uh, Roman returning. Like, I wasn't expecting that, like, honestly. Like, that was actually really yeah, cool. Yeah, because everyone was and expecting I, retribution. And, I, and the thing is, I heard rumors that Rowan wasn't even supposed to, like... Like, I heard rumors that he wasn't even supposed to be back at all in September at all or anything. So, like, that's what really surprised me. I was like, yo, what? Like, what the heck? Like, it actually surprised me. Yeah, that was really shocking. But either way, I don't know if this is... The last video, I'll see you guys until payback predictions. I don't know what's going to happen to this channel, really. But uh, you guys just got filled with, like, five videos, so you have a lot to watch. Either way, that's obviously going to wrap it up for this video. Just nice and quick. We have pretty much, this is just our own opinion. Like, obviously, you guys can have your own opinion. You can disagree, whatever. But we just felt like from us watching the thing together, like, we felt like it needed more. Like, it needed yeah. more matches and... Like, those matches that happened on SmackDown should have happened at SummerSlam. Jeff Hardy should have won the title at SummerSlam. Exactly. He should have had Lucha House Party. Like, I don't know. I get that they're trying to get ratings on SmackDown, but, like, SummerSlam needed more matches. And the fact yeah. that they took away, like, a main card match and put it on the kickoff, like, MVP and Apollo, just disrespect, in my opinion, to them. Like, the rivalry has been going on for, like, Exactly, and then and they just put them. Put it on the like, kickoff uh, show. It's like, what the fuck? But, um... Yeah. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed this short little video of us ranking the SummerSlam 2020 matches here on Tier List. You can go ahead and play this for yourself. Well, not play, but you can do it yourself as I will link this one. I, I officially made this myself, so you guys can do whatever you want to. You can change up the, the rows and everything, but this is going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, Nathan, leave a like and subscribe. Yep. Thanks for watching.